I've got a card to share with you all today. Um, a card that I created a while ago for a class and I absolutely loved it and I've been wanting to create it in some other colours for a while so I thought while I'm doing that I'll record a video for it to share it with everyone. So I'm using the Swallow Tail stamp which is absolutely gorgeous. It's huge and I love it. Um, and you can use it for so many things, it's wonderful. But anyway, I've stamped it up in Stays On and stamped it a couple of times. And I like to stand up while I'm inking up large stamps like that and stamping. Um, it just can get a better result. Um, and then I've used the Work of Art stamp, um, one of the stamps in that set. Um, it's just like a scribbly brush stroke type of stamp and I thought it would make a great way to colour in the butterfly. So I absolutely love the swallow's tail stamp but it is a lot of work to colour it in. Um, not that I haven't, I have <laughs> using different methods and it looks wonderful but it does take a little while because it's such a large stamp and I got this new work of art stamp set uh, it's brand new in the catalogue this year and I just thought that'd be perfect. So I got it out and it worked. <laughs> so basically I've chose three colours and inked it up and just randomly put them on the butterfly but to make it symmetrical because every butterfly I've seen is symmetrical. So um, that's why I've done it that way. So I just sort of worked it in with three colours to fill up the spaces. So in my um, class example, I used Coastal Cabana, Wisteria Wonder and Daffodil Delight. Although I don't think it was Coastal Cabana. I think it was Bermuda Bay. I'm not sure now. Um, but it's a really odd combination that actually I thought worked well for a butterfly. But then I wanted to do a bright one. So I did Pumpkin Pie, Rich Razzleberry and Melon Mambo, um, which is... I thought it came out really nice. It's pretty dark, but it's a bright dark, which I thought was nice for the butterfly. And then I wanted to do um, one that was all the same shade. So I picked blue and I did Pool Party, Soft Sky and Lost Lagoon. And there's not much difference between those blues, which I felt turned out really nice because it was just only a hint. Of different in the shades um, but I really like that and I'm going to try it with some other colors as well um, but basically it just looks like it's been sort of scribbled with some paint and not perfect but it's kind of the abstracty type of coloring in and I think it works well so then I grab my petite pears stamp set which has got some great sayings in it and just chose a couple of different sayings I think I picked a sympathy and a Thank you. And my class example, I used a birthday. So I love just making up heaps of different cards, um, having them in my stockpile. And then using the hexagon punch to create my little banners. It's such a fast, easy way to create those banners. I don't know how I would live without my hexagon punch now. And just to give it a little bit of dimension, because it's quite a flat card, um, I decided to pop up uh, the background on some dimensionals. So it's actually quite a quick card, and um, next time I plan on making a whole bunch of these, and I can just crank them out um, in an hour sitting and just crank out 10 or so of them. So I really like them. Um,